In this figure, we have an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle, and the circumference of this circle is 16 pi units. We need to find the perimeter of this triangle, and the perimeter will be the sum of all three sides. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides are the same, so if we could find the lengths of one side, then the other two sides will have the same lengths. Now, because we are given the circumference of the circle, we can start the problem by finding the radius of this circle. The formula for the circumference of a circle is c equals 2 pi r, and r represents the radius. If in this formula we replace c with 16 pi, then we can solve it and find the radius. So then, if we replace c with 16 pi, then we will have 16 pi equals 2 pi r. Now, to find r, we will divide both sides by 2 pi. Then, on the right side, 2 pi and 2 pi will cancel. And on the left side, 16 pi divided by 2 pi is 8. So, 8 equals r. So, we just found the radius of this circle, and the radius is 8 units. Now, in this figure, let's connect the center of the circle to one of the vertices of this triangle. We know that in an equilateral triangle, each angle measures 60 degrees, and this radius splits this angle into two equal angles, each measuring 30 degrees. And this is because in an equilateral triangle that is inscribed in a circle, the angle bisectors meet at the center of the circumscribed circle. Now, from the center of the circle, let's draw a perpendicular down to the bottom side of the triangle to form a right triangle. In this right triangle, one acute angle is 30 degrees and the hypotenuse is 8 units. Now, the bottom side of this right triangle is half the side of the equilateral triangle. We will call this side x, and we will find it using trigonometric functions. In this triangle, cosine of 30 degrees equals the adjacent side x divided by hypotenuse 8. So again, cosine of 30 degrees equals x divided by 8. To solve for x, we will multiply both sides by 8, then on the right side 8 and 8 will cancel. Then x equals 8 cosine of 30 degrees, and cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, then x equals 8 times square root of 3 over 2. Then 8 divided by 2 is 4, and x equals 4 square root of 3. So, we found x, and x represents half of the side of the equilateral triangle. Now, to find one side of the equilateral triangle, we will multiply x by 2. Then, 2 times 4 square root of 3 equals 8 square root of 3. So, we found one side of the equilateral triangle, and now we can find the perimeter. The perimeter is 8 square root of 3 plus another 8 square root of 3 and plus another 8 square root of 3. Then the perimeter is equal to 24 square root of 3. So we found the perimeter and it is 24 square root of 3 units. Thank you for watching the video and please check out more videos on this channel.